What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahoney here with Darren's Pokemon. Gonna be playing a game on PTCGO today, and I'm rocking a new Forbidden Light deck, Malamar. Got to play this deck a bunch on stream. If you caught the stream on Friday, that was a lot of fun. Shout out to all you guys that showed up for that. That was a fun time. I'm excited to be back on PTCGO out here grinding again. It's awesome. Just love doing this. School is almost over. My school year is almost over, which is awesome. So I'm almost on summer vacation, which means that I'm just going to have so much time to produce content and just a lot of energy. And I have just been so sleep deprived for what feels like months now. Oh my gosh. To finish up my finals, I stayed up till like 6 a.m. and had to miss work the next day. It was brutal. I was like, way in over my head as you saw this week i didn't get a lot of videos uploaded too much but i'm back on my grind now the finals are in the rear view mirror and now it's just 22 more days left of teaching and one more grad class left to attend and i am home free for the summer so that is super exciting opponents playing buzzwool it looks like and we got the turn one beast energy on their buzzwool which uh, easily disposes of this Oranguru that I got in the active position. Now, do have two copies of Professor's Letter and a Mysterious Treasure in my hand. Oh, and the Ultra Space. Oh, this is Beast Box. Oh, boy. Looks like we are playing against Beast Box here with our Malamar deck. That is pretty fun. Oh, and my opponent's going to start to get the people into play. There we go. Very cool. They got a people on the bench. Spit Poison. Your opponent's active Pokemon is not poisoned. And Knockout Reviver. Your opponent's next turn, if this Pokemon is knocked out, your opponent can't take any prize cards for it. Cool stuff. All right, we're going to use our own Ultra Space here and go get probably a, I don't know, probably, I feel like as much as I want a Lily here, it's not the best play. We, we should end. All right, we probably want a Dawn Wings Necrozma just because that thing seems good. So we're going to get that. And I think this thing's like weak to Psychic, right? Oh, it is weak to Psychic. Great, it's fantastic. So we're going to do that. And then we are going to Letter, going to grab a couple Psychic Energies, attach one of them to our Dawn Wings, and then Mysterious Treasure the other one away. Love the Letters. They are great. So let's just get that out, get an Inkye into play. Then let's see here. We've got the Float Stone that we're going to throw probably onto the, yep, that guy. And then I could attach here... I actually can pair this all the way down to be able to Lily for, I mean, I could Lily for five here. That's not bad because if I draw in, a, I actually don't mind that. Let's just do it. All right, we'll Lily for five. Um, okay, and I actually, I don't mind that. So that's fine. Let's just Mysterious Treasure, get another Psychic in the discard pile. We're going to go get another Ink. And then I think I'm all right with my opponent just knocking out my... Um, knocking out my Oranguru, if that's just like uh, what they decide to do. I think that I have to let them do that. I don't think like the promoting of the Dawn Wings doesn't seem great. I think I just let them go with it. If they want to knock out Oranguru, they could be my guest. Sure. So let's just uh, try that. All right. Let's just pass. And on over to my opponent. I definitely don't want to just give them one of these inkes. I kind of want those. Though I only need one inke to survive until next turn in order to pull off a crazy uh, Dawnwings Necrozma attack. So we did switch the list up, playing a 2-2 two -two split of the Dawnwings Necrozma and the... Uh, uh, what is the other guy? Ultra Necrozma. Yep. Ultra Necrozma and Dawn Wings. We're playing a 2-2 split of those guys now. This Beast Box is playing lots of Buzz Wolves. So that's pretty cool. Do like that. Obviously, I think the concept of this deck is to attack with Nag and Nadel, And then use your Beast uh, Rings to power up, you know, Nag and Nadels, Buzz Wolves, whatever. Uh, in kind of crazy speed. You know, once as soon as I start taking prizes, like they're just going to flood the field with energy which is pretty cool. I do have to say it's like a fun concept for sure. Looks like my opponent probably is going to take the bait though, because my goal, like I want them to knock out this uh, Oranguru so that then I can potentially go in with the Dawn Wings Necrozma and then just uh, Moon's Eclipse GX and I will be able to take like four prizes with this one Dawn Wings. That's the idea. I think that would be super cool. And they will probably jet punch. Yep, jet punch the Oranguru for knockout. So they took the bait. That's good. And then I'm going to put 30 damage onto my Inke. So 
think I need to promote the NK. It doesn't really matter because I have Invasion. And then let's see what we get. Oh, we did get a Malamar. That's really good. And I think actually, um, what do I need? I have Psychic Energy in the discard already. Oh, so I already have it. So no need to be wasteful. I got the Malamar. That's what I needed. Let's just grab a Psychic Energy. And then we're just going to Cynthia. There's no real need to do anything else. And I could... I mean, to field blower, I just don't really feel like drawing it again. So let's just get rid of that. I don't think the field blower matters too terribly much in this matchup. And then I think I could Guzma up the Naganadal. Let's see. Uh, this attack does 20 more damage for each of your Ultra Beasts in play. They could Stinger GX. Both you and your opponent shuffle. I don't like that. If my opponent were to Stinger GX, that would be like super annoying. I think I probably just knock out this uh, Buzzwall, though. We're just going to knock out the Buzzwall. That's just the easiest course of action here. And we're going to try and get more Pokemon into play, which we were able to do. So I think I just put this other Dawnwings down because Dawnwings just seems like completely busted in this matchup. And we're going to Ultra Ball away probably the Metal and the Floatstone there in order to get myself another Malamar. So let's just do that. I can use the beast energy on my Dawn Wings, and I'm really liking the Dawn Wings now. So shout out to Riley and Natalie for kind of getting me on board with the the uh, you know with the two two split of the Dawn Wings and the Ultra Necrozmas. The Dawn Wings have proven to be really good, especially in this meta here that seems to be shaping up. It's a very psychic heavy meta, and in a psychic heavy meta, having a psychic Pokemon that is not weak to psychic is super good. So that is amazing. And, of course, a Buzzwool meta. And Dawn Wings is just super good against Buzzwool, as you can see illustrated right here. 360 damage, and I'm invincible next turn. What? What? That's insane. So, cool stuff there. And now I'm just cruising along. I've got two Dawn Wings, two Malamar. What else do I need? I'm pretty much good to go. My opponent's got a field full of Psychic Week Pokemon, and I'm like, uh, yeah, ball's in your court, guy. This is pretty cool. Definitely into the Dawn Wings situation. He's kind of been the MVP, actually, of this deck now that we've been playing it. And I do like that even though we're only playing the two Ultra Necrozmas, who I thought was going to be a much bigger player in the deck, I'm realizing it's more of a Dawn Wings deck. I mean, just because Psychic is really good right now, you want the Dawn Wings for a lot of things. And really, you only really use the uh, Ultra Necrozma for Zoroarks, for like Greninja GXs if you were to play against any of those, which I haven't seen one on PTCGO yet. Or if you're playing against like Guardi, something like that. Just those awkward things with more than like 200 hit points, you're going to be using that. Or awkward things that are not weak to Psychic. But most of the meta is weak to Psychic right now. So I'm really, really digging the Dawn Wings. And then, of course, they kind of cover each other's weaknesses really well, too, because Dawn Wings is weak to Dark, but the Ultra Necrozma kind of deals with the Zoroark matchup. So you don't really have to rely on him too much there. And then Dawn Wings uh, covers, you know, the quicker matchups, like against Buzzwool and Naganadel's decks that could just go very quick and maybe overrun you. You do have the Dawn Wings who can get out there very quick. I've attacked with turn two with this Pokemon all the time. The Dawn Wings is very easy to attack with on the second turn of the game. As you just saw, definitely gets out there with the quickness. So cool stuff. Let's see what's my buzz what's my opponent's got going on. They got the Buzzwool. They're probably trying to hit some beast rings this turn, I have to imagine. However, they don't have a Guzma, so they are not doing any damage to this Dawn Wings. And everybody that they have in play is weak to Psychic, except for like Tapu Lele itself. So feeling pretty good there about that. That is, you know, definitely not bad at all for me. I mean, that GX attack is just totally nuts. Moon's Eclipse GX, just being able to take real big command of the pace of the game getting out here take when you take two prizes and make yourself invincible for a turn it's just so good and there are so many things that that attack just hits for weakness and making it just an incredible attack to me you know really take a commanding lead with that so i'm just gonna do 30 damage to my malamar all right i don't mind that at all let's just throw this beast energy here and I think we're just going to, yeah, field blower both of these guys. I think my opponent is going to probably Stinger GX me if I had to guess. That's like 
super annoying, but I think I just have to clear the field of energy here. I just like have to do it. I can't not do it. So I think they will Stinger GX me. I don't love it, but there's not really another option. And I think I also might want to go get my Lunala Prism. Like Lunala Prism could be super good in this matchup as well, but I think I'm going to wait one more turn, kind of see what my opponent does. I can't accelerate any more right now so let's just go ahead and dark flash so even though my opponent is losing by a lot they will be able to stinger gx and set us both to three prizes so they effectively take a prize away from me uh and they take two prizes themselves so that's like a big swing for them however when they do stinger gx i will just be able to knock out that naginatal that stinger gx and just you know, go down to one prize and they have three. So I still keep a commanding lead of the game. Um, and actually it looks like they might be trying to, I don't know, they promoted this buzz wall. I don't know exactly what they're going for here. So let's see. The thing, the bad part about Stinger GX is that they don't actually improve their board position. If they do Stinger GX, they just kind of allow me to, okay, maybe they're like trying to create even more of like a rope -a dope with Stinger GX here. But like I said, they don't actually improve their board position at all. Hmm. You see, I only got two prizes remaining. I could, um, I could go in and just like try to hypnosis them. Like I don't really care to just. Uh, it's fine. I feel like it doesn't really matter if they're just gonna stinger GX me. Like it doesn't matter what I do. I kind of just have to find a guzma here so i feel like hypnosis is like a fine play to be honest because that way it's just like all right if you're gonna sting stinger dx me just like come and stinger dx me you know what i mean like just 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 go ahead and do it uh either way i'm content just like sitting here waiting to top deck a guzma for game which i will just do if i if i'm able to draw the card so if i can get like a lele or something like that I would rather not give my opponent the free switch out of knocking out this buzz wool because then I just invite the Stinger GX up. Clearly, my opponent is trying to bide some time and stall so that they get the biggest swing out of their Stinger GX. That's what they want. So I'm not going to give that to them outright. Eventually, they'll probably get the Stinger GX, but it's better for me to make them work for it. And there they, they go. They are going to Guzma and then Stinger GX in the same turn. It's a great play because if they were able to stick me there, then they'd be able to put us both to three prizes and then take an additional prize, right? Which would be cool. But I have myself a, uh, a float stone, so that's really good. Let's, uh, let's see here. I think there's probably no point in really doing too much over here. I've got tons of juice in my deck. I just need to draw it. So I think... I and I could get this Ultra Necrozma out of my deck. There's no real point in doing that. My opponent doesn't have any fairy Pokemon or anything like that. I think like I probably just want to save my bench space for the Lunala, but they'll probably take a prize next turn. So let's just do this just to thin the deck a little bit. I'm just gonna get the Ultra Necrozma to just. Th oh, I thought it went straight to my bench. That's great. Then that's definitely the correct play. I thought it went straight to my bench. I wanted to save room for this Lunala Prism, but I think I'm just gonna Field Blower there. Ultra Stadium, yep. And then get my own float stone down here. And then let's just go knock out. Oh, I can invasion. Uh I didn't even yeah, I didn't need to put that float stone down. We could have invasion the whole time. I wasn't really thinking on that level. Uh, I was spaced out. And I'm still trying to learn how to use all this stuff. So this thing is weak to psychic, right? Like I'm not tripping. Yeah, it's definitely weak to psychic. So I think I can bench that. I kinda like that. And then let's just dark flash. Okay, go down to one prize remaining. My opponent's got three prizes remaining too. Oh, that's weird how they went out. Just boom, boom, boom. All right. So we are back down to one prize here. Yep, psychic and another ultra crossbow that I don't need because Dawn Wings is proven to be the MVP of this deck low key, which I did not see coming at first. That is pretty cool. Dawn Wings is that guy. Awesome stuff. Or that girl or that lady. That dude, I should say is that person don wings that pokemon awesome awesome stuff look at don wings sweet looking card and i got my rainbow rare one that is an awesome looking card as well this card is definitely starting to grow on me so let's see what my opponents got uh they're gonna sycamore i don't think that there's much they can do here i'm not 
no longer at the three prizes remaining, so their B strings aren't working. I think all they can do is beast trade. Yep, and it does not knock me out. I'm not weak to psychic, my guy. So we are just going to be able to just dark flash this thing for knockout as well. And good game to my opponent. Thanks for playing. Awesome stuff there. You guys got to see Don Wings and Crosman in action. I mean, Don Wings is definitely proving to be the star of the deck over and over the more testing I do. So I can't advocate for a 2-2 split. I think it makes more sense now that I've been able to see that the metagame really has shaped up to make just a psychic, just a vanilla psychic attacker with invasion. It's just very good in this metagame for at least what I'm seeing early on here with lots of psychic decks, Garbodor decks, uh, Buzzwell decks, and the like. So I'm going to show you all the Malamar list as I'm working with it right now. And uh, yeah, you guys can rock and roll with this. So thank you all so much for watching me. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, check out all the sweet links in the description below. Peace.